We are at Ring Tech in München. We are at the stand of CFT. CFT is an Italian company located in Parma. By my side, the CEO, Mr. Alessandro Merusi. Alessandro, good morning. Good morning to everybody. Uh, we are CFT. I am the CEO of CFT SPA. We are an Italian company uh, headquartered in Parma. Uh, basically, we are a 240 million euro group uh, that is quite diversified in different businesses. So basically, we are two main businesses, one in the processing, the other one is the packaging side. Um, therefore, in the processing, we have, let's say, more than one, uh, let's say, sector where we are focused on. We have tomato that is traditionally the core business of Rossi Catelli, that was the mother company of CFT. And um, beverage in, in, in processing, uh, we have still fruit and dairy. So there are where we get the traditional and core business in the past. Um, then we have packaging on the other side, so packaging of beverage, packaging of food, packaging of oil, so whatever is edible oil or lube oil. So now basically here we have defined and decided basically to focus a little bit on the beverage, but not generally speaking on the beverage, but on, on the beer market. Because beer market has grown over the past years, I think, I think um, of 15-16% uh, over on, on, a, on a yearly basis. So we have defined beer as a, one interesting niche market in the beverage side. So taking into account, into account that we are not, let's say, a giant, but we are, let's say, a, a, let's say a quite well-structured company, but uh, um, still not a multinational one. Um, I would say that we have defined a niche uh, because it's impossible to be everywhere and to be at the top in each, uh, let's say, in each, in each addressable market. Say that, uh, we have made some investments starting from a um, couple of years ago, uh, starting and leveraging on the fact that we were well introduced in the United States in the beverage sector and in particular in the, beer, the craft beer market in the United States uh, with the packaging side. So we decided to make a further step uh, last year and um, we have acquired, uh, and let's say not acquired, but I would say we have partnered with uh, a, a German company. The name is Rolex Process und Brautechnik GmbH. That was especially uh, focused in, uh, let's say, in manufacturing of craft plant. That's in order to fulfill our, let's say, requirements and then the needs of the, the market needs of having turkey line producer and, and let's say and, and supplier. So in this way, we can be. Able to, we are able basically to fulfill the market needs, uh, offering turnkey product line um, for beer as we do for tomato, as we do for 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 dairy, and as we do for fruit. And uh, with this, in this exhibition of of drink tech, we have basically um, we have the main aim, main aim to make our customer aware of what we have done and what we are doing in terms of investments and where we are focused on. I see. You are a big Italian company, very articulated. How much is important domestic market and international market? Let's say that domestic, uh, domestic market for us account around 10%, no more. So basically all our business is outside Italy. Uh, United States account for a very significant part, but uh, let's say we are very diversified in the business you mentioned before, and uh, that is also important for us in order to keep uh, different legs and to keep each legs a little bit flexible in order to be able to face the, f the challenges of the up and down of the market. So that's the reason why we have decided basically to, to invest in different markets because you can have some years where the, the tomato market is up and the other year that is down. So that could be some, let's say, some good chance of having, uh, let's say, uh, um, offset uh, uh, effects between the different, the different markets. So in this case, Italy, Italy is important, but it's not so important. The world is important for us. Yes, of course. Relating exhibitions. Now we are at DrinkTech. Which is your agenda for the next, next year? So basically, DrinkTech for us right now, as mentioned before, um, is the starting point. Then we have uh, the CBC next year in in uh, in United States, uh, where basically we will present some other innovation for the craft beer market. This is very specific uh, exhibition for that. Um, then there is the Gulf Food exhibition that we have in uh, end of October this year uh, in Dubai, where we are. Then in this case, we will shift from a beer company to an oil company because and dairy company, I would say, because there we have developed new technology for for filling, weight filling, uh, for, for oil, edible oil and lube oil. So we will present uh, this, kind of, this kind of stuff. And, uh, and then we wait for next year to Anuga Food Tech. Yeah. So that we are talking of a different, 
a different stuff, but in, in which we will present our innovations for the food market, especially for the packaging and the, the, processing, uh, the processing market. So, I mean, let's, 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 let's consider it's quite a very busy agenda for the, next couple, for the next months, but I think, I mean. Thank you so much, Alessandro. See you in Gulf Food Manufacturing next October. Thank you very much to you. Thank you.